Uh, hello student, I hope that uh, you have uh, watched the previous video about in which I, I was talking about the differences between chromatin and the chromosome. Uh, the major differences, three differences I remember I talked about and um, it was I think very very clear. Uh, if you have any query you can just ask me and I'll, uh, I'll be able to respond to you. In this video uh, I'm going to talk about the next step which is actually the packaging of DNA molecule with histone uh, inside the nucleus because there is a big question that why DNA needs a packaging then why DNA needs to be packed. The, the answer is that it, since it's a very very lengthy in size in eukaryotic cell especially therefore it needs packaging. Okay, so there should be some packaging material and what is that material that is a stone protein. Okay, so here in this video I am going to talk about the chromatin formation and the packaging of DNA molecule with a stone protein. Well, here a student, I'm just going to take a cell which is actually a eukaryotic cell because already I discussed that in prokaryotic cells there is no nucleus and that's a characteristic features of prokaryote. So they lack the nucleus because um, they don't have a lengthy DNA, they don't have a bigger size DNA, therefore they don't need their DNA to pack in a, in a nucleus and therefore they lack it. Okay, But in case of eukaryotes, all the eukaryotes are much evolved, much complicated, much complex and as a result, I mean they have a, a complicated and complex sized DNA therefore they are having a nucleus here in the center so for example I am just taking an animal cell here so this animal cell inside if you simply focus in will find a thread like a structure okay what do you call this thread like structures can you simply differentiate can you simply dis, uh, you know uh, say that this is one or many you cannot say so because it is a complicated structures and of course it is nothing but it is chromatin Right. So here is student, as I told you in the previous uh, video that chromatin is a composition of DNA and histone protein. Okay. So these two molecules are very very important and, and, and uh, histone, histone I consider it is more important in terms of packaging the DNA otherwise there would not be any materials to pack the DNA and reduce the length and the size. Okay. So let me just take the DNA molecule here. I will just take this double helical structure you all have seen this structure double helical DNA structure okay this actually the structure double helix uh, which was given by Watson and Crick about which I will talk in details in the next video for which they simply received the Nobel Prize this DNA I am just taking this DNA as a thread right as a straight thread like this okay what what else I need what else I need I need a uh, histone I need a histone protein okay what are the histone proteins is it one single protein is a bigger protein or a smaller protein let us see what histones actually is okay so histone student in your book perhaps given as octamer of histone octamer of histone protein molecule octamer octa stand for eight it means eight protein combined together eight proteins combined together giving rise to a bigger sized histone molecule say for example we have this uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So for example these 8 small proteins are there. Right? 8 proteins and they will combine together giving rise to a big protein which is called a histone. Okay? Uh, so here let us combine them together. So we can simply combine them like this. This is going to form a octama. Right? And overlapping each other just like this. Now this appears as a... As a, as a, as a um, uh, conjugated protein I mean different proteins I mean it, it different proteins of uh, uh, simply combined together giving rise to a solenoid structures of histone protein molecule right so uh, at higher level student we have uh, more to know about it but as per your syllabus of ICSC class 10th is concerned you have to know this much only not more than this okay otherwise we have lot of things to know about it there are different proteins H H1 histone H2 histone right etc that uh, you know histone proteins just like these octamas are concerned so all these small small proteins combined together and they give rise to a complicated 
uh, a bigger a complex histone protein molecule so we have these two things we have dna with us we have histone with us and let us see how dna is going to wrap over the histone okay so let us begin with this now i'll just erase this part right so here let me take this histone protein okay so we have dna now with us okay what will happen before i proceed any further let me just clarify the fact that uh, this dna interacts with histone only because of the charges charge differences now overall charge on dna molecule is negative and there is a reason behind it okay and overall charge on histone protein molecule is positive it means histone is a positively charged protein and negative and, and dna is a negatively charged molecule a genetic molecule okay so these interaction now i think you are getting the concept these interactions between negative and positive charge will take place as a result they will both combine together okay so the very first step of packaging or the shortening of the length of the dna will begin so let us do it now so as i as, as i told you that this dna helix i'm taking as a thread the thread okay so this thread will simply wrap over the surface of this histone molecule like this okay it means the interaction began interaction began between negatively charged dna and a positively charged histone protein molecule so here this this interaction is continued it is continued like this right again it will overlapping just like this this interaction of overlapping or interaction between dna and histone is continued until unless we completely wrap the dna over the surface of histone molecule right so this interaction is continued now here we can see let me label this this is your dna and this is your histone dna plus histone okay what do you call these two when when dna exists with histone interacted form of dna with histone these commonly called as nucleosomes they are called as nucleosome okay always remember that dna plus histone okay bound form of dna with histone is called as nucleosome so in the eukaryotic cell student we have not one histone not one uh, nucleosome but billions of nucleosome exist in one single nucleus of eukaryotic cell therefore initiating the very first step of packaging of the dna molecule we need to pack it because it's a very very big in size we cannot just dna let it open in the cytosol or the cytoplasm it will just occupy the other space in the cytosol and it will not just uh, uh, and, and and the space for other uh, you know organelle will not be left up therefore left over therefore we need to pack it and we have already started by packaging dna with stone by forming nucleosome so this is the first step clear you can simply label it as one now what will happen since you see this 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 packaging this overlapping of dna or surface of histone is continued okay and it will continue till the end of the complete length of dna so here we can further keep histone molecule over the surface right like this now what you see you see a particular pattern is being observed just like a zigzag structures okay a particular fashion is being observed here so this repetition of nucleosome this repetition zigzag structures of nucleosome this repetition is called as coil of dna this repetition student we simply call it as coil of dna you must note it down now in examination often you can be asked for writing the definition of nucleosome for writing definition of coil of dna what they are actually how can you define this you can simply define is that clear now can we see that the packaging is complete now no packaging is not is still complete it is not yet completed so what is to be done next the next step is to move on clear and this this coil of dna student as you see they will come close okay so i can show it here just like a close packaging just like a close packaging they will come close right can you see that these these coils are overlapping onto each other okay this this they are they are the, the the coil of dna are coming close okay and they are simply overlapping onto the surface of each other this much portion of this form of dna is called as super coil of dna super coil of dna so 
we we started with dna and histone we reached to coil level we then we reached to super coil level of dna we are simply going ahead can you see that the packaging is complete it's not yet complete what the next step done this super coil of dna will further become very very packed okay so this repetition will be continued and you will be able to observe a structure like this further packaging and the further condensation of this molecule of the super coil of dna will take place and it will appear like this clear and this structure now if i represent it will just look like this thread okay so this structure is called as this structure is called as chromatin this structure is now called as chromatin so we began from dna we packed the whole length of entire length of dna and now it is appearing as a chromatin okay how many step process there is a first step coil of dna is the second step super coil of dna is the third step and chromatin formation is fourth step here we are reaching bit by bit bit by bit eukaryotic cells are able to do so every time they are doing clear when they open the dna right and then they simply wrap just like this okay so what is the purpose behind all this story what is the purpose behind all these steps since as i told you in the beginning that the length of the dna say for example human dna its length is 3 billion around 3 billion base pairs 3 billion base pairs so this that much big dna how to keep that 3 billion base pair containing dna inside the cell it is only possible when the dna is completely packed with the help of histone molecule is that clear so that is the purpose now once we have chromatin already discussed that chromatin is simply available or simply simply exist in the cell when the cell is not going to divide it means when cell is at the resting state always keep in mind when cell is at the resting state you are able to resting phase you can write when cell is at resting phase you are able to observe chromatin and not the chromosome so how does this chromatin convert into chromosome that's a question and why okay so here student this chromatin when cell is at resting phase now say for example the particular cell this cell is undergoing or subjected to cell division process say for example mitosis what will happen then immediately this chromatin this chromatin will convert into distinct bodies colored bodies so called chromatin as said by Walter Fleming who discovered chromosome in 1882 clear so this chromatin will convert it means the whole length now this is one single thread like a structure so in the nucleus inside nucleus it appears like this so this thread like structures as soon as the cell is going to simply divide it will convert into chromosome distinct bodies clear and will give rise to a structure like this which is called as chromosome okay student so here we have chromosome if you open the chromosome and if you look into then you will find chromatin and if you look into further you will find the super coil of dna further open it you will find coil of dna and further you open it you will get separate dna and a separate histone molecule this is how this stepwise process takes place and this is why this is this is why and that's the reason that why all eukaryotic dna contains a histone inside the nucleus in order to pack the dna if you simply remove histone from the nucleus dna cannot be packed and if dna cannot be packed inside nucleus it cannot be simply kept as it is in a normal condition clear so i think you might have got the concept student just go through the video repeatedly and if you don't get the concept you can just write your question in the comment section Thank you.